Hey guys, this is the video to introduce me, Ms. Rodriguez, and yourselves as students of my various music classes. I'm just going to make one video and I'm going to copy it for all the classes because it's all basically the same assignment, uh, whether you're an orchestra, band, guitar, blah, blah, blah. So I have a YouTube channel and that channel is not like very exciting. It's mostly just a bunch of videos that I used for this last quarter before school let out um, last year. And it's where I'm gonna upload most of my videos as we go on into the school year. But that channel is titled Music with Miss Rodriguez. Um, but now it's my turn to introduce myself to you guys. So here's some general information about me. If your parents wanna know how to say my first name, it's Yolane, Yolane. That's how you say it correctly. Now, if you want to say it in English, you can say Yolani. That works fine. Um, I graduated from the U uh, in 2019. I have a degree in music education. I was raised here in Utah. I graduated from Kearns High School in 2011. This is my second year teaching at Hawthorne, and I teach percussion, band, orchestra, guitar, choir, and sixth grade general music. Yep, that's basically me. You can see uh, these photos are, yeah. I don't have long hair anymore. I cut it. And if you're looking for my channel, it's Miss Rodriguez MS. I'm not married. I'm not Mrs. Rodriguez. That is my mother. Thank you. Okay. But Miss Rodriguez, uh, you speak English really well, or you say you grew up in Utah. Can you speak Spanish? Your name is Rodriguez. Yes, I can speak Spanish. My parents immigrated here from Mexico in the 1980s. So I am a first generation Mexican American. Other people like to call that Chicano. I am Chicana. I was born in Arizona and raised here in Utah. We moved here to Utah when I was like one. So, but um, I did live in Japan for a while. And so, yes, I do speak Japanese. And while I was in Japan, I used my Spanish to learn Portuguese and so I also speak Portuguese, but uh, my Portuguese isn't amazing. It's pretty mixed up with my Spanish, as the Brazilians over there like to say. My, I speak Portuño. It's a mixture of Portuguese and Espanol. Portuño. So that is me. Here are some of my interests. I do like to stream videos and movies and shows pretty often. That's what I get on right there at the top. I am also really into playing music, obviously. Oboe is my primary instrument. I've played at a Bravano Hall. I do a lot of summer musicals around the valley. Uh, I did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat for Sandy a couple of years ago. I really enjoyed that. I loved doing marching band in college and in high school. And you can see right there, that's me. Um, I do bike. I like biking. I do kendo, which is Japanese sword fighting or those bamboo swords. It's a lot of fun, a lot of work. I enjoy climbing. I don't do it as often as I wish. But yeah, I also crochet. I do amigurumi, which are those dolls or little figures you see up at the top. I can do those, but I also sometimes make clothing. I made a crop top for my sister uh, when school got out. And I do a lot of drawing. Um, not very much lately. But yeah, some of those are kind of old, but I really do like drawing. I've been drawing since I was in elementary school. And I mean, if you really wanted, you could see how I've progressed since then. I have it all documented. And I do uh, do social media pretty often. Uh, those are all the ones that I'm present on. Uh, I may not be on them often, but I am there. Unfortunately, I cannot friend you or follow you on any of those because I am your teacher. When you leave Hawthorne, that could be another question we, we consider. I am the music teacher and I am not always limited to classical music. I love classical music, but it's not the only thing I listen to. I, I enjoy those artists that you see. I love listening to movie scores. Uh, especially these ones and other uh, things from video games as well. Uh, video game music's pretty fun and from anime and other things like that. I love jazz music. Those are some of the artists that I like if you're interested in listening to some. 
uh, and when it's not instrumental music like that, I like alternative rock or punk rock music. I like rock generally. Um, I like singing along and those are some of my favorite artists. I do enjoy pop music, not always, but it's pretty fun every now and then. And, and yeah, those are my favorite artists. And sometimes I do listen to other genres like R&B, hip hop, rap, country, uh, EDM. I can, I, I can appreciate some things though. It's not something that I listen to very often. I, I, someone has to introduce it to me. It's not something I will go search for. So if you've got any tunes that you really like and you want to share them with me and you think I might like them, let me know. Uh, here is my family. We're going to start at the top right. That's my cat. Her name is Gappy. And then there's the dog. Her name is Maja. She's a husky and she's adorable and loves people. At the bottom left, we can see my parents. My dad is a truck driver. My mom is a an elementary teacher. And then right above them on the right, there is my oldest sister, Daniela, and her husband, Jared. My sister works for the LDS Church in media publishing, and Jared is really into psychology and audio things. Then to the left of them is my other sister, Yolanda, or we call her Lala. She died a couple of years ago, but we love and miss her anyway. Up at the top is my brother, Bino. That's his nickname, it's Daniel. His name is Bino. He's married to Martha, my sister-in-law. My brother is into computer sciences and stuff. I don't really know exactly what he does, but he works with computers and he's a really techy kind of person. Whereas my sister-in-law, Martha, is really into dance and makeup and hair stuff. She's really cool. They have two kids on the right. There's Gio and Sophie. Gio is six. Sophie is four. They go to American Prep. Uh, well, actually, Gio goes to American Prep. Sophie just started at Ballet West. She's, um, she's doing dance. And their dog, Cooper, little baby Cooper Jr., he is like six months old and or not so he's like one month old and he's a basset hound so he's going to be really fun and cute um down at the bottom you can see my sister and her fiance matt they live out in wichita kansas which is where mr a bear is right now he's a police officer out there matt is a soccer player he plays for the wichita wings indoor soccer team and he is working on going pro they're both soccer heads they love soccer that's why they live in kansas for soccer. They went to college on soccer scholarships. Um, and my sister, Danya, she is working at the hospital out there in Wichita. She's working towards a degree in medicine. Then my baby sister, Yolidan, there's a photo of her graduated from SUU. She is training for the steeplechase right now. She's a runner and currently works at the Intermountain Hospital in Murray. And then there's Cooper the Whippet. She is 13 years old and lives out of Wichita with Danya and Matt. That is my whole family. We're a lot, we have a lot of fun and they're amazing people. So that's me. Now it's your turn to tell me who you are. You have an assignment that's a discussion. There are three questions just to kind of get you started. There aren't three questions, there's one prompt you need to do two truths and a lie. Tell me two truths about yourself and one lie. Mine is number one, there is, uh, I have a serious boyfriend. Number two, I live with my sister. Or number three, I regularly wake up at 5 a.m. to work out, to do exercise. Which one do you think is a lie? Which ones are do you think are truths? Then tell me two truths and a lie about yourself and comment on a classmate's two truths and a lie. Get a discussion going. Tell me all or your classmates a little bit about yourself as well. Tell me about your family. Tell me what you're looking forward to in music. Tell me how long you've been going to school here at Hawthorne or if you are really interested in certain genres of music. You can also tell me what you did over the summer or an interesting piece of information about some random fact. It's up to you. But yeah, that's the discussion. It's it's an open place where you can just get to know everyone in the class, in your class, whether they're on A days or B days or they're online. It's one place where you can all get to know each other. All right. And this is me. Yes, I have short hair now. My Bitmoji is up to date, but my photos are not. I haven't taken very many photos since I got my hair cut. But yeah, I hope to hear about all the things 
that you want to let me know. And I look forward to reading everything. Bye.